Hi, Jenny here. Nice, dirty hands. My happy place. Uh, it just occurred to me, something that people always ask about this uh, stage is why is it that you can plant things directly into a uh, bokashi that doesn't look like soil? So, for example, if I do that thing that I just showed you in the last video, where we put fresh fermented bokashi straight into here, top it with soil, and then plant a small seedling, and it will grow straight down into the fermented food. And that seems a bit weird, right? Um, it's a good reason for that, and that's the biology of what actually happens during fermentation. So the thing is, when you ferment the food, as we do, for two weeks in the bucket, um, using the bokashi bran, what happens is something that we can't see. Like, it looks like nothing's happened when you open it, right? It just looks like the same banana skins and eggshells and uh, leftover lunch that you put in there. And you open it after two weeks and it's like still the same. But a lot has actually happened. What happens is that all the proteins in the food, in the food waste, in the food scraps, they get broken down into their amino acids. Like every protein is made up a bunch of little amino acids, right? And so in that fermentation process, these amino acids all get like separated out. And amino acids are something that actually are available to a plant. So a protein is not. So if we put a banana skin straight into here, the plant can't eat it. It will just cause problems. It's like us trying to eat a whole pig or something like that. But if we put the fermented banana skin into this pot, the plants can actually access it. And how do they do that? They use the microbes to help them, and that's what's so genius with Bokashi because we put in the, into the garden, we add microbes and uh, food, nutrients at the same time. So the, it's like a ready package with everything. So the roots want to absorb the nutrients from the banana skin in this case, uh, and they need help to do that. And it's the microbes that are going to do that shuttle service back and forth between the uh, roots and the um, and the the amino acids of, of of nutrition bits. So the 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 microbes are actually basically going to shuffle back and forth and say, "Hey guys, give me some magnesium. I've got a root here, need some magnesium." And another microbe is saying, "Hey, if you've got some iron, I need a bit of iron over here for this plant." And what? happens is well you've got all these microbes in a healthy soil that are doing this service and pulling in all the nutrients to the plant. And the nutrients are available to the plant because we've prepared them ready. The microbes know exactly what to do, the plant knows what to do. And the thing is why do the microbes do all this work? Like it sounds like sort of hard work right? But the thing is they get paid. They get paid in sugar and it is the roots that are exuding, um, like pumping out liquid sugar. And that is spare sugar that the plant doesn't itself need to grow. It's carbohydrates that are caused by photosynthesis, created by photosynthesis. And they're like um, squeezed out through the roots. And that is a sugar payment for the microbes. So if the microbes do a good job, they haul in their magnesium, their iron, their new nitrogen, potassium, you know, whatever, calcium, any good thing that might be needed by the plant, the plant will give them a reward. And that is a little, uh, a little dose of uh, sugar. And that keeps everybody happy. The microbes have some energy to go on, the plant gets something to go on, and uh, the, the nutrients are all in good work. And I'll tell you more about this another day because it's super interesting what happens down there in the soil. So that's a little story. That's the thing that's going on when you think you're just looking at um, a little mini tomato that's growing like this one. And there's a whole story of stuff going on under the soil. And when you start to learn that, it gets really, really interesting and exciting and it's good to be part of it. So there's that story.